If you really think about all the advertising messages you encounter in a day, they're still interruptive and they're changing. People are so bombarded with it. When I see normal advertisements, I just kind of laugh now. Just tell me who you are versus trying to get me to do something. And then, then you see the splintering of your message. You know, it's, it, uh, somebody says a few weeks ago, it's no longer the internet, it's the splintering. Attempts to degrade or create a void um, for a product. Not saying the fluff and instead just being candid. First of all, I don't want to be sure that I had a product that could kind of sell itself. Now the challenge is to do that through storytelling. The question is, is the story good enough? Is the story compelling enough? Does it tell the brand narrative that the marketer wants to achieve? Rather than, than advertising, um, they're driving them to a content experience that informs and entertains them, um, rather than just getting a branding message. It's never been more important for great content to tell great stories. Stories are innate. They teach us how to survive and how to thrive in the societies where we live. And that's always been the case. Great brands tell great stories. They're imbued with great stories. There are lots of brands that have confused stories and confused ideas, and they're the ones that fall by the wayside. I think brands are driven by buzzwords. I think brands are driven a lot by, um, by what they read on the internet and uh, um, um, what they believe that they should do. One of the byproducts of Web 2.0 is that Everyone's an expert, therefore no one's an expert. We've lost our ability to judge who to listen to and who to trust. What we have to remember is that what this is about is about building relationships. And when you're building relationships, you want to be authentic. Who's providing this and what agenda do they have? Is having a lot of friends on your Facebook page um, really that important? Or, or, or is it really more about deep engagement? Is it really about people interacting with your brand, um, interacting with the content that you create? I mean, why wouldn't you want to be where your customers are? And why wouldn't you want to be in the conversations that are dominating their day? Right, it's no longer a one-way conversation anymore. It's no longer, you know, Brand X just telling you about who they are and what the product is. The consumers can not only talk back to the, to the company, right? They can also talk amongst themselves quite easily about the brand. This is two-sided, multiple-sided. There's sort of no place to hide anymore. You have to own your own story across a much broader range of stakeholders than you had to before. Brands need to be telling stories in, in a professional, highly articulate way, and uh, they need help doing it. I think a lot of brands probably believe it's relatively simple and then they get caught out. You need to work with professionals. The mix of marketing messages, the types of people we hire, the tools and vehicles that we utilize have all changed. That won't be done by community managers, that won't be done by social media people. Um, it'll be done by people who are essentially content people. We believe that every company is a media company. Um, they may not like it, they may not understand it, but they are. Their marketing department is creating media and content about them, which is going out in the marketplace in form of stories and ideas and adverts. You can look at lots and lots of different companies that are saying, we've got an opportunity here to engage consumers. What can we do? How can we think of smart ways to do it? Brands need to be their own TV networks. They need to be their own magazine publishers and radio stations. They need to be communicating directly with people. Advertising, uh, the high cost of being boring, right? <laughs> if you're having to advertise, it's because what you're doing isn't interesting. So that's the difference between storytelling and selling. At the end of the day, um, social energy is going to make our brand run. I think in the future we'll see companies hiring senior people who are in charge of content and culture and listening to what everybody else is saying out there. And that's going to be one of the biggest changes in, uh, in marketing in the next five years.